This year, to see twice the size, twice the number of clients, twice the number of vendors is just remarkable and shows what a critical aspect a whole insight-driven organisation really is to both our clients, but also our vendor partners. What I think great analytics is all about is understanding what questions the business will want to get answered. So it's having people who have got analytic skills, you know, great capability, but also understand the business and therefore can bring their insights to bear in terms of helping a business problem. Hi, my name is Pepper. Welcome to the SAS Exhibition Stand. A lot of customers are using only a fraction of the data that's available to them. And interestingly, most organisations are using that data and analytics to report on the past. So to look at what happened and why it happened. And I think there's a huge opportunity for organisations to start looking at the use of predictive analytics. So that we're not just looking at what customers are doing today, uh, but what our customers' wants and needs and future behaviours will be. This year's event is all about helping organisations understand how to become an insight-driven organisation. What are the key takeaways, the building blocks they can learn from on their journey into delivering insight across the enterprise? The event this year was excellent. There were clearly more people here uh, this year than there were last year. So it's clearly that the message is growing and the importance of uh, analytics inside organisations is becoming increasingly important. Um, I think the change in terms of how we look at the utilisation of social media and the sheer number of applications and the data that it provides us causes us to think about industries in a new way. We picked Scaling Insights because from the many labs and many client conversations we've had during the year, this is one big theme and the big challenge that always keeps on coming up. How do our clients move from the pilots that they've done, the small labs that they may, might have done with us, the teams that they've recruited that are sitting in a basement somewhere coming up with insights, to actually scaling out those insights, scaling out those capabilities, opening up their data, and, and creating a capability that drives insights and outcomes across the whole organization. We heard today about uh, you know, a lot of the machine learning algorithms have been around since the 70s, but really haven't been uh, put into production, and why is that? From our perspective, we see three things that have changed. Firstly, of course, the availability of data. There's just so much more data available than there ever was. And we know that we need lots of data to actually train uh, the machine learning algorithms. Secondly, cost dynamic in terms of storage and compute. It's now possible to analyze all of this data at scale. And I think thirdly, most innovative software is developed based on open source. Uh, so for example, Cloudera has over 750 customers now using Spark, which is synonymous with machine learning. There's been a lot of highlights from today's event, um, from the breakout labs, uh, including the McLaren and Deloitte uh, partnership, um, to uh, the keynote speakers, from ASOS to MI5, a real mixture, uh, really insightful, um, helping me to understand how um, analytics being used in, in businesses and, and various different organisations, um, not only in, in the UK but throughout the world as well. We provide an unparalleled dynamic duo where Deloitte can help us apply our technologies in game-changing ways that really drive business impact for our clients. The difficulty is just getting the rest of the organization, you know, getting the rest of the world uh, you know, to, to, to come along with us on this journey of digital uh, transformation. But, you know, you know, given the, the turnout today, you know, I think you know, you know, we're on the we're on the winning side.